What's going on guys? This is your typical Call of Duty fanboy commentator on YouTube and I'm playing on Raid here running around my MP7. You know, like I always do, I only show Raid gameplays because it's the easiest map for me to do well on. Other maps, you know, I don't do well often, so you're going to see a lot of Raid because I am definitely great at Raid, just about like 90% of the whole community. But as you see, I ran up shoot that guy in the back and I killed this guy, getting the dog tags. Kill first is the best game, game mode to play because you get the... Most, you mostly get the highest points, definitely running with hard lines, bro. You get higher points and it gives you a quick kill streak. And once you get a kill streak in this game or any other Call of Duty, thumbs up for the dick uh, uh, picture there, player card. But uh, once you get a once you get a uh, kill streak in this game or a score streak in this game, uh, it pretty much makes it so you dominate the whole game. You don't really have to get a lot more gun kills. I mean, you're just a beast for getting the six gun kills in the back, you know, to start with just to get your streaks. But uh, anyway. What I want to talk about today is how other FPS games have failed to kill Call of Duty because Call of Duty is by far the greatest FPS ever. No other FPS is anywhere close to this game. Shoot this guy in the back like I normally do. I'm a such a beast. I'm such a beast. Now I call in a swarm that's going to pick me up about 10 kills without me having to do anything. I can just spin around a circle right here and just gain up a whole bunch of points. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to be like 30 and 1 and you guys will still consider me a beast. But anyway, um, and there you go. You see, you see them. Do you see the swarms going in? They are giving dukes to people. They are handing dukes out to everyone. I don't have to do anything. Look, I'm just going to run around, collect more tags, to take me to my next streak. Okay, I shot that guy in his face, but he was also shooting at a teammate, so that's the only reason that happened. But, uh, yeah, I enjoy playing this game, even though it has a whole bunch of issues with it. You know, the lag compensation, you know, uh, a whole bunch of glitches, you know, the, the overpowered, you know, score streaks like you know the ones you could camp with inside of a building like the guardian and claymores and the trophy system and things like that you know things like that that make the game kind of broken i love that about this game because it makes me feel that i it makes me feel like i'm good let's shoot that guy in the back you know that's normally what we commentators do when call of duty we just like shooting guys in the back and getting score streaks and making it seem like we're good now i got another agr and i'm going to toss that out agr i choose you and then uh we're just going to continue on but anyway like i said i want to talk about these games that have failed to kill call of duty because a lot of games have tried but they could not they couldn't they couldn't do it because they just weren't as good as call of duty um the two games we're going to talk mostly about is uh battlefield and crisis okay battlefield 3 you know i dabbled i played different games i tried playing different games and battlefield 3 wouldn't be so bad if they didn't have those huge maps i mean those maps are just so huge and then you know the people ca camping inside of tanks and things like that that's so annoying even though you know you call kill streaks out and they're pretty much more deadly on here than they are uh, when people use tanks and stuff on Battlefield because they actually have to control them instead of them being automatically controlled. But that's not fun. You know, I like the game to be quick, fast. Because you know, I don't have time to have that big of an attention, uh, attention span. You know, I have a small attention span. I have ADHD. You know, everyone who plays Call of Duty and very good at it has ADHD. What is that, a flower? What is that? How? That is growing outside my window. Let me go check that out real fast. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot I was doing a commentary. I'm back. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. We don't have that big of an attention span to, you know, run around for no more than 30 seconds in a video game. If you run around 30 seconds and don't find anyone in a video game, that is boring. So that is one of the problems with Battlefield. You know, the huge mass. Even though I know there are smaller game modes on, you know, Battlefield like you know, close quarters. You can get the close quarters DLC, which. There are nothing but small maps that keep you in a small radius and they have small game modes. Well, not small game modes, but they have game modes for close quarter gameplay. And also, you know, you have team deathmatch in the game, which uh, makes all the maps a lot smaller. So it's a lot faster paced. But, you know, I only play on consoles. Never played on the PC, which has 60 frames per second. Um, also, a lot more players, so it's more frantic. But that's only because I don't want to learn how to use a keyboard and mouse. You know, I can't use a keyboard with my delicate fingers. I don't have the attention span to actually learn how to use it. So I sit and complain and just say, okay, well, forget it. I'm not going to play this game. I'm just going to say it's horrible compared to Call of Duty, and it failed. Um, the second game is Crisis 3. Crisis 3. Crisis 3 was very close. Very good game. Um, but the only thing that was bad about it was the cloak bow guys like that is horrible and i forgot to say agr to use just my attention span i'm sorry but that is because of the cloaked expo guys i mean they one shot you is so hard i mean you can see these guys even though because they have like a, a red outline around them because even though they're cloaked out you still can basically see the outline around them but i don't care that's just something that makes me upset about the game even though call of duty has quick scopers who can basically do the same thing one shot kill especially up close they can run around with sniper rifles like shotguns and take you out before you can drop them with a submachine gun even a shotgun, even things like that. And they have tomahawks and, you know, throwing eyes on Call of Duty that insta-kill you just like the bow does. Um, 
But, you know, that's not the issue, though. You know, that killed Crisis for me. That is why Crisis is not the Call of Duty killer. Even though the game runs fluid and it's very close quarters, just like Call of Duty, just the Expo being uh, a one-shot kill alone is bad. Even though, like I said, on Call of Duty, sniper rifles, you know, will one-shot you, even tomahawks and throwing knives will one-shot you all the time. No matter where they hit you, leg, foot, toe, anything, they will kill you. But it's just not as bad as Crisis because I am a Call of Duty fanboy. I will ride with Call of Duty to the death. Now, another thing that I, uh, that I have to say about this gameplay is um, it ends pretty quickly because um, you know how Call of Duty is when people are starting to get beat, they decide to rage quit. So around 58 kills, the guy rage quit. I think I actually went like 63 and 1 or 2 or whatever it was. But, you know, it didn't record all that because the game is so broken and glitched out. When people leave the game and host migrates, it doesn't finish recording. But it doesn't really matter because I love Call of Duty. I will always love Call of Duty. I will always buy the game because Call of Duty is the greatest shooter of all time. Even And I'm definitely going to buy the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghost because, I don't know, it sounds like a Ghost Recon ripoff. I heard you can go cloak and you can run around on the ground. Hey, is that a piece of dust? What is that? 